Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be uh, simulating a uh, single bend airfoil, which is simply a flat plate with a single bend. Um, here's the velocity profile of the resulting simulation uh, that we'll set up today. And uh, you can see there's some separation here um, at an ang uh, angle of attack of 15 degrees, um, but it still gives you a uh, lift to drag ratio of 6 according to the simulation and the lift coefficient of 1.3. So let's go over the files. So you can get uh, these files from the GitHub repository. Um, uh, d uh, in the description, you can find the link. Uh, so the case folder is uh, all the open foam fi simulation files. The clean script um, is a simple, I mean, you can choose to use it or not. It just cleans up the um, some of the files generated, some of the output generated. Uh, this is just the output from the meshing program. Uh, we use GMSH um, in this tutorial. Uh, this is the GMSH uh, scripts to that define the single band airfoil mesh. Uh, this readme contains all of the instructions you need to run this, case, uh, this simulation from beginning to end. And this run script uh, basically contains all of the open foam related commands. So let's take a look at the readme file. Uh, so, so the first step is to uh, play with the um, GMesh parameters to get the desired shape and geometry. And the second step is to mesh it. Third step is to run the run script, run.sh script, uh, cont contains several open foam uh, commands. And the fourth um, step is to view the post-process simulation results. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the run script. So it just has three steps in here. Uh, the first step is to convert the GMesh output to open foam mesh. Uh, the second step is to um, uh, modify the open foam definitions. Uh, from the newly converted uh, GMSH mesh. And the third step is to run the simulation. All right, so let's get started. Let's take a look at the parameters file. So here you can see I, I've uh, given these options here, the angle of attack, the bend height, which is the height from the very top to the cord line. Um, Basically, the the largest difference between uh, largest difference uh, from uh, largest deviation from the cord line. Uh, the bend location is the cord normalized position at which the bend occurs. Uh, the thickness is the thickness of the flat plate, and the airfoil LC. This basically is just the cord normalized uh, grid cell size. So. Uh, this this mesh is actually um, unstructured, a simple unstructured mesh. Um, there's no boundary layer extrusion on the surface, so that may be added uh, either with snappy hex mesh or you can script it in G mesh, uh, which might be a little involved. But but this this case has a simple unstructured mesh, which probably is not very accurate or I mean does not give very accurate results. So yeah, so once we've played around with that, you can run the meshing command given in the readme. Oops. And as you can see, uh, this main.mesh file was generated. And after that is done, you can... Uh, oh, well first, uh, let's also take a look at the actual mesh. So this is the GMesh uh, visual uh, viewer. Um, you can see it's pretty coarse, actually. Like, uh, the cells near the surface are not, not uh, fine, not that fine. Uh, as we saw in the parameters, it was uh, one hundredth of the cord. So this is the result you get. Um, 
So yeah, we have the airfoil surface. The boundary conditions are the airfoil surface here, the tunnel walls at the top and bottom, and the free stream inlet and outlet at the left and right, respectively. Um, all right. And so then we just simply run the open foam script and it does the modifications and this run very this ran very short because I've already run the simulation to completion so uh, it, it's already been converged um, as you can see it, it outputs uh, force coefficients for you we can see the C, uh, um, the lift coefficient of 1.3 drag coefficient of about 2 1 it's a little better than 6 lift to drag ratio um, so uh, the, the force coefficient output is, is actually defined in the uh, control dict here at the bottom. You have this functions, force coefs, one, uh, and all these parameters. Um, so in this case, my center of rotation was the quarter cord. Uh, that's useful for the calculation of the um, uh, moment coefficient and yeah you can pretty much just uh, change these to your desired uh, values uh, and that's pretty much all there is to simulating the uh, single bend airfoil uh, low fidelity um, probably but if, uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments thanks for watching